In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Hoka On A On A Carbon X SPE. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things down there. Right, so we've got the brand new Carbon X SPE, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here it is, the Carbon X SPE. This is the updated version of the very popular Carbon X. I never got into that shoe, um, and it was actually you guys that told me about getting the Carbon X, so that's why we've got it. Uh, they made a few tweaks, like I said, and we'll get onto those in a minute, um, and we'll then get onto how it feels. Like always, let's get into some of the stats, the features of the shoe. Um, this is a lightweight, slightly cushioned, uh, carbon plate marathon shoe, I think is the best way to describe it. You've got this amplified rocker design, you've got the Proflight X midsole, which is made up of this top layer of foam, which is, a little, uh, which is a little bit more cushioned, I would say. And then you've got the bottom layer, which is a little bit firmer, which is there for propulsion. You've got the new molded external heel counter. You've got this technical upper, which features a booty construction with an integrated mono mesh for lightweight support and comfort. The shoe is 8.8 .8 ounces, it's got a five mil drop, and it is 170 pounds, which is a lot of money for a shoe, but when you compare it to some of the other carbon plated shoes, it's about right, I would say. So I think the significant changes are the, uh, versus the Carbon X are the sort of booty construction, the new eyelets, a um, few changes on the upper with some overlays, but nothing mega. I think one that stands out because it's bright orange is the heel counter. So on the original, if you remember it, it had that sort of embroidery structure uh, at the back of the heel. Now they've actually put this one piece in, uh, which is kind of cool. And that's probably about it, really. <laughs> there's nothing There's nothing more uh, to it than that, I would say. Um, like I said, I think it, they try to make it more of a training film, uh, feel, film, training feel. Uh, you know, I've been able to slip it on, get it out there. A little bit easier to work with um, than the predecessor. I think that was the idea. But from what I've seen of the original, this looks pretty much very similar, apart from these few tweaks. Like I said a minute ago, you've got the ProFlight X um, midsole. So you've got this like more cushioned sort of foam here versus this harder foam here. And then you've got the carbon plate going through there. It's, it just gives you that little bit of cushion when you're, you know, when you're out there on those longer miles and still racing hard, just to give you that little bit of softness. But then it firms it up we're along the bottom so you do get that propulsion with the plate you've got this amplified rocker so you are really rolling through it which is nice and as i said it's a light shoe even though actually this is putting a little bit of weight versus its predecessor not much like 0.2 of an ounce or something silly like that but it has put on a little bit of weight but it's not noticeable at all so what do i think well firstly actually let's give you the negatives because there are a few uh, even though uh, I don't want to really start negatives, and, but we'll get on to the positives and finish on a high. The first disappointment for me was the fit, right? Now, this is improving the more I run in them, but the problem I found versus some of the other hokers I've had, um, it's even narrower than normal. Now, I don't know if you can see that. And I've also found that my foot, now this might just be me and my bad running style. And again, anybody know, I'm not an elite runner, right? I run... I don't run marathons below three hours. I'm a mid to sort of, yeah, mid packer, let's call it. So I'm not some superstar runner, right? So I've just put it out there now. So I've got bad running form, everything. So if you're looking for an elite review, you're not getting here, but it was lovely to have you. Right, get it out of the way. But I have found that my foot, I don't know, I don't know why, seems to go a bit like this. And it seems to want to push me out to the outside of this. And I don't know why that is. And it's just, it's just, it's been hard to sort of, find my way inside if that makes any sense probably not um but it is if you've got a slightly wider foot 
you might want to stay away from it. It is quite narrow, it's fine across the midfoot, but as you come in, the toe box, now I'm a UK nine and a half, maybe I needed to go up to a 10, but I've never done that in a hoker before, but I just found that this really was narrow, and as I said, it was sort of sending me out to the outside, which meant I was getting a little hot spot on my little pinky. Um, the other negative, and I can't, again, can't work out whether my bad running style, but I really found that I, I found my foot being always pushed forward. Now I've tried lacing, I've tried a runner's loop to lock it down more and that didn't seem to help, but it just seemed to push, I just seemed to be always forced down to the front of the shoe. Um, maybe that's the rocker design and that's sending me down there. I am trying to improve my running style and my running form and maybe, you know, that's part of it. But yeah, I really did find that I was getting, I felt like my foot was always getting pushed down, which was a bit annoying, like, you know, you get to 10 miles and it starts to like really sort of irritate you really. Um, the other negative thing was I just found the um, sort of booty construction was a bit flimsy and it just didn't, I love booty construction shoes, right? I love all-in-one shoes. If you're new to the channel, I absolutely love all-in-one uh, shoes. So that was one of the things that I really look forward to trying, but it just didn't, it just didn't fit right. For a racing shoe, I don't know whether, whether that's the case uh, with the all-in-one boot, but I, like for example, the Alpha Fly's got an all-in-one boot, but it just fits nice. I just couldn't, again, maybe it's my foot shape or something like that, but I just, I mean, you can even see it where it's sitting here. I just couldn't get a nice blend with it. Again, maybe that will improve the more I do in it, but I was, yeah, it, it wasn't as comfortable as I was expecting. That's probably, I've been waffling on too long, but that's probably what it is. So they're the sort of negatives, right? Um, yeah, that's probably about it, actually. The positives, and there's quite a few of them uh, as well, is firstly, the upper, I think it's awesome. Hoka uppers are amazing. Talk about breathable, this is what you've got here. I love the lacing, I love the detail on the eyelets, and I love how much sort of lacing and, and overlays and stuff, everything that's going on here, despite me complaining about this boot sister booty uh, construction, you know, I found that the whole lacing in that lot was, was very, very uh, to my liking. There we go, that's what I meant to say. Uh, I like the stability in the heel. I do think that this is um, adding stability to the shoe. I noticed that. I really like the ProFly X, really do. Um, it was soft enough, but not too soft, not like a Zoom X. Um, and with that rocker, I was getting a really nice heel to toe transition. With the plate, it was kicking me on. And the, and the lightness of the shoe, it just, it just sort of worked. Um, and I can see why you guys really like this shoe, to be honest with you. I can just see how you get on with it. It just feels great when you're flying along. Um, it just feels awesome. When you back off a little bit, maybe you get a little bit tired. Again, it's still there with that little bit of cushion from that top layer, it's a, bit, it's a bit more forgiving than some of the other shoes out there. So overall, I really, really like that. So they're the sort of positives. Would I recommend this shoe to you? Yes, I would, but I would really be conscious of how wide your foot is. That's the, the biggest takeaway for me, is that how it feels inside and around here. If you've got a wide foot or a, or a slightly peculiar foot shape like me, then maybe you want to avoid it. That's the only thing, but overall, yeah, I think it's a great shoe. It's something, uh, again, it's a something different to, you know, your Nikes of this world. It offers a lot. It definitely is one to fly along in. So yeah, guys, check it out. The Hoka Onay Onay Carbon X SPE.